Bet you didn't know this. A group of kangaroos isn't a herd, it's a mob. Yes, a mob. Just like in those old gangster movies, but with less fedoras and more hopping. Now, the term mob doesn't imply that kangaroos are up to any nefarious activities. In fact, it's a nod to their social nature. Kangaroos are incredibly social creatures, often hanging out in groups of 10 or more. These mobs aren't just for show, they serve a critical function in the life of a kangaroo. Each mob typically has a dominant male, also known as the boomer. This isn't a title easily earned. It involves a lot of boxing, kicking, and posturing to claim the top spot. But once he's there, the boomer enjoys the privilege of mating with the females in the group, known as flyers. But it's not all about the boomer in a kangaroo mob. Every member has a role to play. The young ones, or joeys, enjoy the safety of the mob, learning from their elders, and practicing their boxing skills. The females, aside from raising the joeys, often form strong bonds with each other, grooming and feeding together. Mobs also provide a form of protection for kangaroos. In the wild, there's safety in numbers. A lone kangaroo is an easy target for predators, but a mob? That's a different story. Predators would think twice before messing with a group of muscular kickboxing kangaroos. To sum up, kangaroos live in groups called mobs, led by a dominant male, these mobs are not just social gatherings, but also serve crucial roles in protection, learning, and maintaining social bonds. From the dominant boomer to the youngest joey, every kangaroo in the mob has a role to play and a place to belong. So the next time you think of kangaroos, picture a mob, a group of sociable, protective, and fascinating creatures, each playing their part in the grand scheme of kangaroo society.